guys, it's Ryan Nicole here, and welcome back to another video. Where today we are back in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Just loving this series so far. I can't wait for the future of it. I really hope to finish this game. And I did some training up to Pidgey, obviously. And I'm just gonna go continue. It's loading, and I'm pretty much in the same place here. I thought it was a bit laggy then. Right, let me just close the chat. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna click Pokemon. Pidgey's level 8 and Torchic is level 9. So I'm going to go ahead with some Pidgey gameplay. And let's kill this Bunnelby with it. So straight in here. With the level 8 Pidgey. Only knows Tackle and Sand Attack though, which is a bit annoying. Hopefully it can learn some new moves soon. So I just, he's going to use Agility again, which is use the speed to then... Do his agility again even faster <coughs> before me. So let's go through to the next city then. Rhino Gold! Okay then. I got here as fast as I could. Something terrible has happened. I need you to come back to town with me. I don't have time to explain. Let's go. Oh no. Rhino Gold. I'm so glad to see you are safe. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this, Rhino Gold. But your parents have been abducted from the home in the short time you have been gone. Not much is known yet, <laughs> but it is suspected that they were taken by a group of people known as Team Eclipse. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> you see, Team Eclipse is an organization of people who have a unique perspective, <laughs> perspective on people and Pokemon. <laughs> they believe that people and Pokemon are not at harmony with one another. And they have interesting ideas for how to solve this problem. They are also dangerous and not to be trifled with. They seem to do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. I do not know what they want with your, your parents. But I suspect it has something to do with their skills as archaeologists. Your parents are familiar with Pokemon of legend on Roria. Whatever Team Eclipse is after, I'm sure they are getting very close to achieving it. Now tell me, Rencord. Did your parents say anything about their work when you saw them this morning? Oh, so your parents gave you that necklace earlier. That's interesting. Anyway, it's not safe for you here now. Rhino called. I think for the time being, it's best for you to leave town. At least until we figure out what's happened here. Chesmer Town is a good place to start. Okay, that music might be getting a bit too loud. It's a good place to start. It's just past Route 1. Be careful now, Rhino called, and go, don't go looking for trouble. Yeah, I'm not going to go looking for trouble. Well, I will, because I want to wreck those Team Eclipse guys later on. Hopefully. Let me just talk to this guy. Here, let me hear your Pokemon. Or heal your Pokemon for you. Route 1. Oh, there's another player on. Hey, person. I don't know who you are. I don't know if the music's too loud or too quiet, but I know my voice is definitely loud on the music, so it should be alright. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the music on this for now, though, just in case. Because you can still hear it, but... It's... Not overbearing. Right, so now can I go through here? Yes, see, fancy doors again. So now we're going through to here. Let's climb up the wall. Because <laughs> that's what you do every time you first get to a place. But I'm going to be talking to a lot of people as well because I do you think they can, you can get free stuff if you. Chesma Town. La la la. Hey, over here. You look like a brand new trainer. This must be your first time travelling alone. I see. Your parents were abducted by Team Eclipse? That's terrible! I have some information about Team Eclipse that might be valuable. Follow me to my room where we can discuss it privately. Okay, let's go. See what this girl wants. A suspicious person. So your parents were taken by Team Eclipse? Gosh, that must be awful. Bet you missed them. Oh, so they gave you that necklace before they were taken? Do you mind if I see it? Thanks. This necklace looks old and valuable. Huh, thanks! Hey! You're back here! Oh, is Jake again, I think? Hey there, you are, Rhino Cold. Who was that person that just took off running out of here? Wait, what? She took the necklace that your parents gave you? That was the last thing your parents gave you before they disappeared. We have to go after her and get that back. I saw her running into the woods outside of town. Quick, follow me and I'll lead you there. Okay. This is so extreme. Oh, Pokemon Center. I'll have to check that out. We haven't been in one of those yet. Oh, 
she's in here somewhere. I'll wait around here so she doesn't get away. You look for her and get your necklace back. Okay. I'm going to go this way. And there's a way to go that way, but I'm going to go this way. Oh, a trainer, of course. My parents kind of just got stolen, so... If you could hurry up and do this battle, please. A Kakuna, level 6. Right, the battle's starting to get interesting. Come on, Pidgey, we can do this. Let's use Tackle. He's going to use Harden, one of the classic Kakuna and Metapod moves. But you know I'm going to deal with it. Uh, okay, I'm just going to use Harden again. I'm just going to keep using my Tackle because that's all Pidgey knows. Maybe we can get to level 9 with Pidgey. After this battle. After this battle. Yeah, no, this battle between... Yes, Pidgey, don't gust. About to send a Metapod. I'm going to stay in as Pidgey. Now they're both the same level. I'm gonna try and get. I'm gonna get Pidgey to level ten. Then I'll go back to Torchic. Super effective. The opposing Metapod use Harden. Oh, of course, Metapod use Harden. Never gonna be anyone else. Always has to be Metapod using Harden. <laughs> Super effective. Pidgey gained ninety two experience points again. Nearly level ten. After that, just one battle. There's two ways here. Wait, that one looks like it leads to that way, but there's another trainer, so... May as well, a bit of training. Fight this guy. My leader and I are looking for a good challenge. Okay, so Camper Steve. Let's go, Camper Steve. Fight me. Fight me, Steve. Level 7, this one is. Oh, go away, chat. I'm just going to use Gust. Yeah, it should be alright. Leader and getting pumped. Gonna want to hurry up and get that killed before Focus Punt... Focus thing in Bob Peck. Uh, tackle. Let's go for a tackle. Yep, there we go. Need rounds taken out. And Pidgey's level 10. It's always good when your Pidgey goes to level 10. So, grass here. Okay, I'm going to switch out after this. A Lediba. Interesting, but not very good Pokemon, in my opinion. Oh, and by the way, I've heard that the gym, the first gym, is in fact electric type. Okay, there's another trainer there. We're just going to go to Pokemon and switch Torchic and Pidgey. And we just avoid the grass here. We'll check out that in a minute. I'm trying to look for this woman. Shh, I think she's down there. I'm not sure. Picnica Lucy sent out the other Nidoran. Nidoran female. Torchic, Ember... Because why not? Because I can. Oh, he's going to use Growl. I'm going to fight. Use Ember again. This one's level 7 as well. I really need that brick bronze back though. That bronze brick, whatever. <laughs> My parents are gone though. That's like such a plot twist. I'm still going to stay as Shiny Haunter. So I'm going to Shiny Haunter. Well then. Maybe I can get shiny in this series. <laughs> there she is. I can see her. Someone else is clearly fighting her as well. Yo. Well done. Looks like you caught up to me. It's my fault for running to this dead end. The bridge was under construction, so hiding here was my only option. Do you want this necklace back, huh? Well, too bad. Team Eclipse doesn't return what they earn. That's right, kid. I'm a member of Team Eclipse. The only way I'd let you have your precious brick back is if you beat me in a Pokemon battle. But let's face it. You're just a fresh new trainer. There's no way you can beat me. Come on then, that's a nice symbol for Team Eclipse. Eclipse and Belinda. A Poochiena. Okay. Poochiena's evolution is actually quite cool. Oh god, what's happening? What's happening here? Sorry if there was a bit of lag then. I think it's just in the Roblox servers. There we go. Poochiena fainted. I wish I could see. Ugh, why is everyone talking too much? Get someone else. A Pantcham. Let's go. And level 9, okay. Highest Pokemon level I've ever fought. Pancham's going to use Tackle. Whoa. Critical hit. That's a surprise, because did quite a lot of damage. Arm Thrust. Please don't kill me. I know it can hit more than once. No, 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 no. Hit two times. Okay, right. I'm faster than him. Yes, so get this Ember and Pancham, you are dead. Can I have my Brick back? Brick back, please? <laughs> Beaten by a kid? Mm. 
apple. <laughs> what? How could this happen? Oh, this really isn't good. The boss is going to be so disappointed in me. Fine, here, take your necklace back. Team Eclipse will be back for it, though. We always get what we want. Good job getting your necklace back. So she was one of those Team Eclipse people. I wonder what their problem is. Anyway, it's clear that you can't really trust anyone to find your parents for you right now. If Team Eclipse really did take them, you will need a strong team of Pokemon to beat them. A great way to strengthen your Pokemon is to challenge the gym leaders in Warrior. So this is where we get introduced to gyms. There are eight gym leaders in Warrior. Well, actually four right now. And who knows, maybe while travelling you will learn more information on what might have happened to your parents. Anyway, there's a gym in the next town over. I suggest we start there. Don't worry, Renicold, we'll get your parents back. Now let's go. I'm going to follow him again. See where he goes to. Oh, damn it. I guess I've lost him. <sighs> okay, let's take out this metapod with one ember. Because that's all it should take, I think. Yeah, there we go. Matt pops out. Uh, 51 experience points. Nice. Which means we need to train up Pidgey a bit more then. I'm hoping next episode we might be able to fight the first gym. Hopefully. If I can do some training off camera. A Weedle. I'm just going to run away from this one. I don't really want to fight wild Pokemon right now. I need to go to Pokemon Center. And then go over the bridge. If it's finished construction, because I saw some like construction men before doing the bridge. There we go. Shares some town. They even have those little things that pop up on the left hand side. Da -da 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 -da. I know there's nothing in the house in this city because whenever I first played it, I looked in all the houses. So here we are in the Pokemon Center. Welcome. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I'm not going to read that every time. <laughs> there we go. Now let's spend some money. At the Pokemart. I'm gonna buy, please. Let's buy some more Pokeballs. Wait, so I have 1,000. So let's buy five Pokeballs. I'm gonna buy five Pokeballs and one potion. There we go. Because why not? I should have more, more money in the future of the game because you have more money for doing the battles. Let's go across the bridge then, I think, if there's no one blocking it. Yep, there we go. First of all, I'm just going to switch Pidgey and Torchic around. I like my Pokemon to be even. <laughs> you my guys might think it's weird, but... Route 2, just over the bridge is Route 2. Interesting. Let me get... Wait, what is, is this about someone to fight? There are wild Pokemon on Route 2, but to reach them, you'll need assistance from your own Pokemon. Some moves can be used outside of battle to perform certain tasks. So I'm guessing there's going to be some specific Pokemon up there. But later on throughout the game, once we get Rock Climb. Of course, this guy's going to fight. I think this guy's on the same point in the game as me. It's kind of be following me around. Last Jessie would like to battle. So she has a Skitty, another new Pokemon. It looks like Pidgey only has one leg in this. Go for a gust. So you probably want to get a more higher level now, which is good because it means more training. At the same time, it could be bad because it means harder battles. I don't exactly have the best team for the first gym either. Oh no. Now I'm asleep. Andy fell in love. This is a bit of a nightmare. Could use fast asleep. I was going to use foresight, but it failed. Tackle. Could you woke up? Pidgey's in love with the opposing Skitty. Pidgey's tackle. Go on, take it out. Yes. So now he's no longer in love and he's no longer asleep. Because his love is dead. Oh, she only have one Pokemon as well. Okay, I think I'm going to be going through to the next route or next city. That will be the city already because that will be a bit too quick. This is about as far as I got in. I went to the town and explored the next bit but I never actually fought the first gym. Whenever I first played it. So. I'll tell you when it's at the bit. Where I've already done. I'm going to try and catch a new Pokemon on Route 3 here. Someone start a Pokemon Evolved. Electrike. So we've got an Electric type here. Which might be a bit annoying. But it might be a bit too low level to know any Electric type moves yet. Let's go for a Tackle. 
Pidgey's tackle, because Pidgey's epic. 101 experience points, nice. So let's continue, nice red tree. Actually, she has the autumn weather as well. So we have grass going on through, oh no, I, think, I thought it was an actual player then. Let's have a little look in the grass, an Incarda. Not a favorite Pokemon of mine, to be honest. So that's not what I want. Falls into Shininja or Shininja, I can't remember. It falls into two things. It has two different evolutions. I know Kane likes this Pokemon, but I don't particularly like it. So that's not one that I want for my team. Right, let's just try one more and then we'll... A Shinx. Interesting, but again, not one I really want to go for. There is an electric type I do like, but I'm not sure if we can get it on this route. If you do, I'll obviously tell you what it is and I'll catch it. I like a few lecture types actually. I like Magnemite, I like Mareep. Ampros is just so cool. I like Elekid. You can get that Electabuzz and Electivire. Pidgey's Gust. Puchan is going to raise his own attack. Not bad. But, afraid Puchan, you're dead with my Gust. By my Gust. Another Poochiena at staying with Pidgey. I look at my Pokemon to be even level as well. You've probably seen that already. Because every time someone levels up, I'm straight away switching to the other one. Pidgey gains 66 experience points. There we go. Let's look at another Pokemon in the grass to see if there's any good ones that I want. An Electric. That evolves into Manectric and then Mega Manectric. I'm actually just going to run from that one. I think I'm going to have to keep using Torchic for the first gym, to be honest. Like, because Pidgey will get wrecked in an Electric type gym. So, that's another trainer down there. That's the city. And there's a guy up there as well, but I'm just going to try and see if there's any decent Pokemon for capture. A Poochiena? Yeah. Not too good to be honest. Some people, some of you people watching might be like, oh, oh my god you should have caught this, I love that Pokemon. But, oh, let's see if there's a Pokemon. I probably want like an Abra. I mean, there's another psychic type that I definitely want on my team, so I'm not going to go for Abra right now. I mean, Alakazam is one of my favourite Pokemon, and the Mega Alakazam is just absolutely beast. There it is again. I just YOLO it through a Pokeball at it. Then I'm going to find like a Mareep or a, any other type. Let's just see if I can get it. Because if I hit it and then... Oh, yes, there we go. I'm not going to make that part of my team, though. I just want to add it to the Pokedex and put it in the PC. Oh, you still get XP. Catch it. Nice. I want to see if I can find any other Pokemon, though. Oh, my God, an Abra again. Okay, we've seen enough of your face, Abra. I think I understand that you're here. That's level 7 in the wild, though, and the trainer's Pokemon on the same level as that. Which means if I can find a decent Pokemon that I want, then... A Mareep, yes, here we go. This is going to be one for my team. Because Mareep is amazing. Oh, it didn't do too much damage. Let's just go for another scratch then. Thunder Wave. Ooh, that's a decent move. Just go for another scratch. Don't crit, don't critical hit, please. Ooh, that was close. It's going to bag, use a Pokeball. And go on, get in the Pokeball. You know you want to. Yes. Murray was caught. No, I'm not going to give it a nickname. I don't usually give my Pokemon nicknames. 
like them to stay as they are, the nice names that are already given. So we're in Sylvan City. Guessing that's the gym. Like the electrical stuff around it. I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center. And then I'm gonna go down there and fight that trainer. So go in here. And heal up. If it is a trainer. And try and get to use Mareep. Oh yeah, I just need to put my Abra in the PC as well. Probably won't be able to do much in battle. Mareep won't, but you know. Oh, look at this. This is a nice PC. We can change. How many boxes is there? Boxy. It's a box eight. Nice. In a box one, we have that little Abra. That's decent. Let me just save it here, guys. You know. Because you know that way your file can sometimes get corrupted. So you never know. It saves really quickly as well. And it actually works when it saves. So, again, this is the last I checked out before I turned it off. So, I will train up off camera. And then we'll. Right at the start of the next episode, we'll be challenging the first gym. Yeah, so I don't fight him. Woo! Okay. I can jump off that. Right, does this guy want to fight? Yes, he does. My jeans are not comfortable nor easy to wear. Okay, man. A Dunsparce. Okay, I'm going to try as hard as I can. Let me thunder wave it. And it's going with the rollout, so I'm probably only going to be able to get this on. And then the tackle. See how much tap this does. Not that much. I'm probably just going to switch out. Yeah, I'm just going to switch out to Torchic. Alright, come back. Go Torchic. Using Rage now. It's getting Rage. It's raging. Rage and Dunsparce. It's Rage, Rage, Attack. That's using the Spite. That's reducing PP. How annoying is that? Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be using that. Defense. Because this seems like a very defensive Dunsparce then. <laughs> uh, come on. Yes, Paralyzed can't move. Nice. That was a good call, Marip. <laughs> there we go. Dunsparce has fainted. Come on, level up top chick. Yeah, obviously. Almost twice then. Mareep, yes, is leveled up. Level 8. Learn the move Thundershock. Nice. Level 9. Damn. Don't know if there need to be much training anymore. <laughs> so, we go to the problem center and heal these up. Then I might have to end off this second episode. We did quite a lot today, to be honest. Oh, stupid Poochiana. Mario might actually be good, now that it knows, it can no Thunder Wave against the Electro-type Gym, but then it might not affect some of them. It can use Thunder Wave against the Gym, and then switch, and then use Scratch, or if it learns any other decent moves, whenever I'm training it up to like level 12, whatever the other ones are. So that's just to heal up. And I'll be saying bye to you guys. So I've healed up the Pokemon Center. Like I said last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you can hit that like button for me, it will mean so much. But for now, I'll see you guys later. Bye, 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 bye.